Joining us now to talk more about gas prices, travel delays, and all that really fun stuff, we've got Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington. She's a travel expert. Good morning, Jennifer. My first question to you is this economy is in bad shape. We just had a poll that said that most people think it's very bad, but yet uh, gas prices being high, all these delays, and yet people are traveling a ton. It's like people don't care. They're just going to go out and travel no matter what. What do you make of that? Yeah, you know what? It's definitely something we're seeing. We're seeing that people are still willing to travel despite all of these delays, despite the gas prices. And honestly, I think it's because a lot of people maybe have been waiting to travel. They feel like they need that escape. They want to get back out there. They want things to feel normal again. So I think we're seeing a big pent up demand in that sense, you know, and I think people are just wanting to explore again, but unfortunately, it's being a little bit trickier than it has been in the past. But one thing I will say is, you know, even with rising gas prices in the past, historically, Americans still want to do a road trip because it does come across as it might be a bit expensive and we might be thinking about that bottom uh, line right now. But in the long run, if you factor in the stress of not having to worry about missing a flight um, and the fact that you have so much more control over doing your own road trip, a lot of people still see that as the best summer travel option because they have more control, it's less stressful. And if you're traveling with a family, in a lot of ways, it can still be more affordable than traveling by air. Now, it looks like it's about a 50-50 proposition as to whether or not you're going to get to where you're trying to go. How long, how many times do customers have to get bit before they decide, okay, never mind, I'm just going to sit this one out and eventually stop traveling? Yeah, I mean, I think we heard in that last segment that you had on that a lot of people are feeling really frustrated, but I think that, you know, people still want to travel and they'll find a different way to do it. My biggest tip would be, you know, if you do have a flight booked for the holiday weekend and you are concerned about that, make sure you have a backup plan. I would start looking at that now just in case something happens. Maybe you want to switch that. Maybe you want to drive instead. Maybe you want to look at having a hotel by the airport kind of booked with a last minute cancellation just in case you do need to stay. Just anything that you can do to kind of make it a little less stressful for yourself is probably going to be your best bet going through this next, you know, big travel surge. Like you mentioned, we are getting into peak travel season. So whether we have extra pent up demand because of the pandemic or not, this time of year is always, always very, very busy. And there are typically delays and cancellations regardless. We're just seeing a bit more of that now. So try to be as prepared as you can. It is just past 640 in the East Coast, and we've already had more than 600 flights canceled. The chaos continues. This is travel expert Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington. Thank you very much for joining us.